Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to do this rainbow gay pride inspired look, as well as go over some Jeffree Star cosmetics. I've been waiting about a week and a half for these items to come in, and I cannot wait to share my opinion of them with you. So if you'd like to see those items, see how I got this look, and keep on watching. Hey guys, it's your boy Jeremiah Shazaya, and today is the day that I've been waiting for for a while. I've been waiting for my Jeffree Star products to come in, and they are finally here! Yes! Before we get started, I did go ahead and do this brow off the camera, and then I went ahead and laid this brow down so we can cover her up because we're gonna do a little artsy, fun kind of pride look today. Without further ado, let's get into Jeffree Star Cosmetics. All right, guys, so I finally got my products. I've been waiting for about a week and a half. I finally got my products. Obviously, the main product that I was waiting for was the Blood Sugar Palette, boo-boo. Yes, hunky. Here she is in all of her glory. Yes. Wow. Yes, get a look at her. Honey, honey, my skin tone though and these colors, they're not playing. Jeffrey is not playing. Cannot wait to try this. This is the main product I was waiting for, but I also have a few more goodies. Another product that I was super, super excited about getting is the Magic Star Concealer, baby. I could not wait to try this. People have been raving about it. I'm obsessed with the packaging. Let's get her out of here. Yes, hunty, take a look at this. Take a look at that beautiful packaging. Super gay. It makes me, it's like fitting that I got this on Pride Month because I just feel like, yes, honey, sprinkle Tinkerbell fairy dust over there. Sprinkle fairy dust over there. Sprinkle fairy dust over there. Y'all get fucking fairy dust. Mark. <coughs> so, I got this in the shade C9. So, and I was not able to test it out. So hopefully this is a good enough shade for me. We will see. So what else did I get, you ask? Obviously, Jeffrey just had a big launch for his gloss, the gloss. And boom, I got two of those bad boys right here. I got the two shades, Legends Only and Diamond Juice, which is what those guys look like right there. Let's open these up. Legends Only is more of a nude. It's for those basic ass bitches like myself who don't really like too, too much on the lip. And this is what she looks like. Hold on, give me two seconds. I'm gonna really 
lather on there. Very rich. So this is Legends only on my skin tone. It's just your average gloss, you know what I'm saying? Which I can not wait to try on. And then we have the shade Diamond Juice. And this is also a nude, but this has reflex to it. So it's more of a glitter. Um, lip gloss, there's like blue, almost purpley reflex in it. And that is what that one looks like there. So though, that's them together. If you can see, I don't know if you can see it. So these are the two glosses together. You have Legends only on the bottom and then Diamond Juice on the top. And it has that nice blue pink reflect to it. What else did I get? I said, I'm not done, I'm not finished. Oh, he also had launched some lip liners a, a couple months back and I never got to try them. So I've got a lip liner in the shade Dominatrix. Yes. So Dominatrix is a brown shade, so if I just swatch that right there. It's definitely a deeper shade. I got that shade because I also got the liquid lipstick in the shade Family Jewels, which was just brought back, baby. Yes, it was limited edition and now it is a permanent part of the collection. And that is that bad boy right there, Family Jewels. And I'm gonna swatch that next to the lip liner. This is totally my color. Then, I'm still not finished. I also wanted to try out the Liquid Frost by Jeffree Star. Bam! Canary Bling. Okay, so I am having some trouble getting the product out of here. Okay, so this is Canary Bling. I also picked up a Morphe setting spray because why not? I was already here, I was already queer, and I need my makeup to stay fierce. That was corny, but whatever. Lastly, I got the Cake and Bake Beauty Sponge by Veramona. It almost looks like an eraser that is meant to kind of help powder the eye, maybe cut for your contour, whatever. So that's what we got as well. So let's get into it. So I'm not really sure what I want to do for today's look. <laughs> I kind of have an idea, but I kind of always go into this kind of like, okay, it is what it is. We'll figure it out as we go. You're probably wondering why I have this brow glued down and this one is laced to the gods. We'll get to that. So for this side, we're going to do a nice kind of dark, sultry, yet glamorous eye. And we're going to prime with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer, the Primer Potion. The first shade that I'm going to go into is Glucose, which is this white shade right here. And we're going to set our primer with that. Now this is the first time that I'm using this palette, so I literally have no expectations. Um, short of those swatches that you just saw, um, I have not used these before, so I know nothing of the formula. Okay, so now that I have that down, with the Morphe M441 brush, I'm going to go into the pink shade that is Cavity, right there. Now, this palette is not for the faint of heart. Um, there are some bright colors in here, but if you think about it, if you really take a look here, this is basically a neutral palette. If you got rid of this dark, dark, deep purple, this bright, bright pink, and this like orange, it's basically a neutral palette. So if you're just looking for your everyday glam, you can use this palette. If you're looking for your bad bitch moments, it's in this palette as well. Our variety. Also, this is a vegan and cruelty-free formula, so because it's vegan, they sometimes have to use dyes for some of the shades, especially the reds and the purples, and these dyes can stain the skin. So, if you have an issue with that, I guess that's your problem. But I would just say, like, deal with it. Like, it's just gonna stain for like a day. You'll be fine. Like, don't be so dramatic! With a separate M441 brush, I'm gonna dip into the color Tongue Pop. And I mostly wanna focus Tongue Pop on the inner corner.
I want it to be slightly lighter towards the center. I want it to be almost a gradient of like a peach to pink. Yes, I'm getting the vibes. Just going back in with candy, cavity, excuse me, just to kind of deepen this pink. Now I'm gonna take the shade Extraction and put that on the inner corner and the outer corner. I'm also gonna bring it into the crease and kind of wrap it up around. Slightly above the crease so we can still see it. Now I'm going to put the shade Sweetener in the center of the lid for the halo effect. I'm going to put it on with no setting spray and then I'm going to wet it and put it on setting spray and see if it makes a difference at all. But I want to see how it performs without it being wet. So I'm using the Morphe M224 brush for this, which is this kind of flat oval -y one. And I'm picking up a lot of product because I want it to be as shimmery as possible. And let's see if we get any payoff with the brush. Okay. She's subtle. She's subtle. But we need her to be bold and brilliant or whatever. So let's try it with a little bit of setting spray. Oh yeah. Setting spray definitely brought that up a notch. So I'm gonna take a little bit of the shade Root Canal, which is this cute, cute purpley color, and pop that right in between the gold and uh, extraction and coma. I'm gonna go ahead and throw on a liner really quick. Now I'm using the Roller Lash Mascara, and I also put on the Perversion 24-hour um, eye liner uh, in my waterline. Now I'm gonna pop a lash on this eye, and then we'll get started with our face. And I'm using e.l.f. lashes today. I'm gonna use a sample of the Farsali Liquid Glass Primer that I got from Sephora. And we're gonna rub this bad boy all into our skin. And before we start putting our foundation, I'm gonna use this Jeffree Star postcard to help cut off part of my face. So I am doing a pride flag on this side. What I wanted to do was just map that out so I know where the foundation is going on this side. So today for foundation, I'm going to be using a sample of the Becca Ultimate Coverage Foundation in the shade Tan. I just got matched for this at Sephora and I just wanted to give it a try. Um, obviously, Jeffree Star does not have any foundation, so 
we have to use what we got. Okay, she's a little light. Ooh, now for the moment that I know that I've been waiting for, the Magic Star Concealer. Here's to hoping that this shade is not too light. We're gonna start with a little and move on up. Not too shabby, I mean it's a little light, but we can work with it. Wow, I'm liking it, I'm liking it. I'm gonna add a little bit more, I want a little bit more brightness. I can't believe that this shade is not terrible. I was so concerned that it was gonna be like 17 shades too light. No, I was not able to get the Jeffree Star setting powder because it was sold out. Uh, the only shade that they had, I believe, was Topaz, and I was not getting that. So, I'm going in with my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Sweep and Lock setting powder, or blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna use the Cake and Bake sponge to go in with this L'Oreal Infallible setting powder. I wanna see how this works on the flat, using the flat edges. I'm just gonna take this Morphe M527 brush and just set everywhere else lightly. Now it's time to bronze. Jeffree Star also does not have a bronzer. So I'm using the Hula bronzer as usual. Benefit. All right, that's the effect she's giving. What are we thinking, guys? How does the concealer look? How are you feeling about it? I don't know if it's the setting powder, um, but my under eye looks a little dry, so maybe I meant to put on a hydrating under eye cream before starting, and I did not, so shoot me for that. Then for blush today, I'm gonna use the Pretty Vulgar blush in the shade 18 Hush Blush. And that's this guy here. I'm hitting pan already. That means I love it. Now for highlight, I am going to use the Liquid Frost Highlight by Jeffree Star, but before I do that, I am going to set this side of my face just to kind of let that, what I've already have down, kind of solidify. I heard a lot of stuff online about these Liquid Frost not working very well over foundation, but I have faith. And if you keep the faith, then shit will work, I guess. I don't know. Let's we'll see. I love the color of this. I wish you guys could see this in person because uh, it's definitely way more than gold. It's like gold with these pink glitter reflex. It's really pretty. And I put a little bit on my hand, and I'm actually going to work it into my hand first. And then take what's left over. and pounce it on the skin. Okay, not bad, not bad. So I want it to be really blinding, so I'm building it up and concentrating it right in this area. All right, so I'm gonna try the first gloss in the shade Legends Only with nothing on the lip. Mmm. Smells really sweet, like a vanilla sugar. That's the gloss called Legends Only. Now we're gonna do the other one, which is Diamond Juice. And this one is Diamond Juice. If you look really closely, there is some glitter shifts to it. I think I'm gonna leave this one on 
I'm not gonna lie, off camera I tried on the Dominatrix lip liner with the Family Jewels lipstick. I do love the lipstick. The lip liner is a little dark and it also dries extremely fast and it was hard to kind of blend out. I like to put my lip liner on, blend it out with a brush and then apply the lips, uh, the lipstick and unfortunately it just didn't work out for me. I tried it twice and I was getting over it and I still have so much more to go because we're not even done yet. Like we're not even done yet. But I'm going to leave this gloss on. I kind of like it. This is Diamond Juice. It's not sticky. Okay, so I'm putting some Ben Eye glitter glue down. And I'm going to work with the rainbow in reverse order. So this row right here is going to be purple. And you want to do this really quickly. Put that on. Get a brush you don't really like that much. And go right in. And just stack that on there. And you want to rinse and repeat until you have a nice solid bar. I can tell you one thing, this is going to be hella fun to take off. Mind you, I work at 7 o'clock in the morning tomorrow. Yay! Anyway, I'm gonna do this off camera and I'll be right back. And we're back. What do we think of the finished look, guys? This is my Jeffree Star Blood Sugar Rainbow Pride Summer Vibe tutorial. Or whatever. Okay, so what do I think of everything? Hold on, let me get up close so you guys can see the real tea. So I kind of got hard sticking within the lines back here a little bit. Um, because like, you know, whatever. This is the eyeshadow. Overall, I did like the way that it blended. Um, the mattes are a little tough to work with, but you can definitely like work it out clearly. The highlight I am living for. It's probably one of my favorite highlights right now. And then the lip gloss, yes, the concealer, I like. I love how bright it is. I'm so lucky to have been able to pick the correct shade um, on my first try. So tell me what you think about this gay pride look. Tell me what you think about the other look, the more glam side. Tell me what you think about Jeffree Star and all these new fun products. Well, I mean, this is not new, but it's new to me. Oh, to you, new to me, whatever and all his new fun goodies, the lip glosses and the concealers. Ooh, I'm just juggling so much shit. Let me stop before I drop this palette. You know, we can talk in the comments. Leave some questions down below if you have any questions. If you want any advice or tips or wanna share a fun story or anything like that, please reach out to me in the comment section below. If you have not already, please subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram, Snapchat. Um, I do have some new things coming in to review for you guys as well. The Nikita Dragon, Dragon Beauty um, Transformation Kit. I got the little egg coming, so stay tuned for that. Do we love, do we hate, are we disgusted, are we living? Please drop down those comments. Thank you. And as always, thank you guys for watching. See you next time. Bye.